guys, so today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I'm just going to sit down and do my makeup and chat to you guys just on random stuff that I want to talk about, I guess. Um, I really don't know what I want to do with my makeup. I obviously already have my brows on just because I like doing those off camera because it's easier. I do have a brow routine up on my channel though if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to start doing my makeup and let's just do it. I don't often do chat chatty ones because I end up talking for way too long but let's see how we go. So I'm just going to prime my skin using my usual Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. I love this one. It's in the neutralizing shade so it is very yellow when you pump it out um, but as you blend it into the skin it just pretty much blends into your skin tone and just neutralizes any redness that you might have. I feel like I always rub the front of my eyebrow off. I'm going to do foundation. Um, what do I want to use today? I'm going to give another go of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. Um, I've tried this like literally only a handful of times. I've already... Well, I haven't used that much of it. But I just don't love it. But I'm going to keep trying to use it and just see if I can figure out a way to use it that works for my skin. Um... And yeah, it was expensive, so I want to use it up. I'm going to use my Morphe G6 Buffer Brush. Um, and I'm just going to start stippling this into my skin, I guess. So, a couple of life updates. Um, I have become a vegetarian. So I've been a vegetarian for probably about a month and a half now. Um, I'm loving it. I've thought about it for a long time and I just felt wrong about eating animals like as weird as that sounds like I never associated meat with the actual animal that you're eating like I don't know. Um, but anyway, the main reason for me telling you guys this is if I have any vegetarian or vegan um, subscribers, can you please like leave me recipes or anything that you like to eat down below um, just so I can get like some ideas on some meals to eat. Um, there's lots of like vegetarian substitutes for meat that I've been like incorporating into my diet um, and obviously just eating a lot of vegetables and that kind of thing, but some of it is still like not overly healthy. It's like um, burger patties and I don't know, like I just want to see if there's like any really good vegetarian or vegan recipes out there and it's like there's a lot out there but I just like thought I'd ask you guys if there's anything that you recommend. This foundation is actually looking really good since I've applied a lot of it. So it's not that I don't like it, I just feel like you need to apply so much to get a nice full coverage. Um, I'm going to move in and do my eyes and I have no idea what I'm going to do but we will figure it out. So I'm going to prime my lids using MAC Paintsley Paint Pot which is what I always use. You guys know I love this stuff so much. So I just take my finger and apply it all over where I'm going to be putting eyeshadow. I'm thinking I'm going to use the Morphe 35P palette which looks like this. It's all purple plummy tones um, but there are cool tone browns and that kind of thing. So the first colour I'm going to take is just this top colour here. It's just a matte light whitish bone shade I guess. Um, so I'm picking that up on a just a nude by nature large eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. And doing this just helps any eyeshadows that you blend over the top blend softly so they don't stick to the sticky base and go patchy, which is what we don't want. Then I'm just going to go in with this shade here. Um, none of these shadows have any names, so I can't give you guys names. I can only point to them, but it's this colour right here that's like a peachy kind of transition shade and that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm just going to buff this into my crease 
using a blending brush. This one's from Models Prefer. It's just called a MPP 120 crease brush. I'm going to start going in with some more purpley tones. So I'm going to take this matte purple shade here. It's like a real plummy kind of shade. Um, just on the same blending brush and I'm just going to pretty much repeat that step but keep it more into the crease. So I mentioned in my May favourites, which is obviously about a month or so ago, that I had been struggling a lot with my mental health. Um, and throughout June, I guess, I sort of was getting a lot better. Um, every day I was just improving a bit more. And, you know, I was feeling really good and that was awesome. And then in sort of the last couple of weeks, I've just sort of started going back downhill, which is absolutely the most frustrating thing because it's like you take two steps forward and then you go like 10 steps back. And it's hard to explain how it feels to someone who doesn't suffer from mental illness. Oh, I just feel like I'm back struggling a bit. Um, and I, did, I got a comment probably two weeks ago saying on one of my videos that I didn't seem very happy. And I didn't even reply to it because, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to that. Like... I can't always be happy. I still want to film videos and I still want to put out content, but I can't always just fake a smile and act like I'm the most happy and chirpy and most bubbly person in the world because in reality, I'm going through some shit and I can't help that. I didn't choose to have a mental illness. I didn't choose my genetics. I didn't choose my molecule freaking brain makeup. I don't know, I just wanted to touch base on that with you guys, I guess, and just... If you feel like you have to say to me that I didn't seem happy in my video, trust me, I already know that I didn't seem happy. If I didn't seem happy, it's because I'm not. I don't mean to get, like, angry or anything, but it is frustrating when people tell someone who is struggling with a depressive episode that they didn't seem happy, because chances are they are not happy. Chances are they struggled to get out of bed that day and do anything, let alone film a video and edit it and put it out for the whole world to see. So just think before you comment things and just remember that everyone's going through their own thing. Everyone has their own personal battle that they're dealing with. Everyone has their own demons. And I just really want everyone to think about what they're saying and how they're acting towards people. Um, just on a day-to-day -day basis, not even just on the internet. So I just wanted to put that out there that there are people everywhere who are struggling at the moment and it pays to be kind to everyone because you simply being kind to someone could save a person's life. Someone could be completely suicidal and wanting to kill themselves and all it takes is one stranger to be kind or one person to be kind and that might change their mind so that's just my little input on it um i'm just obviously trying to distract myself i like filming i like doing youtube i like doing this kind of thing so that's what i'm doing to distract myself but yeah just be nice to people guys it's not hard to just be nice anyway little rant over i'm going to go in with what color? I think I'm gonna first take a bit of this shade here. It's a bit more of a red purple shade, like it's more plummy toned. So I'm just picking that up on a MAC 217, tapping off the excess. And I'm going to work this right into the outer corner and the crease. So I just do super light motions and just use a super light hand. You don't want to go in using a really heavy hand when you're doing something like this. So just start light, start with a little bit of product and build it up. 
my cat's staring at me like, what are you talking about and who are you talking to? And then I'm going to take this shade down here, which is more of a true purple shade. Um, it reminds me a lot of Makeup Geek Motown, so yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that out there. Out there. That's my Australian accent coming out. And I'm just going to pretty much do the same thing. Just buffing in circles and building that up in the outer corner. For the lid, I'm going to keep it matte. I'm just going to take this colour down the bottom here. And I'm going to pack my brush, then tap off the excess. And I'm going to start pressing this onto the lid. I'm just so used to doing voiceovers. And I, when I'm talking, I'm either rambling or I'm not talking at all. So once I've added that, I'm just going back in with the 217 brush and just blending those edges. Um, because I've got a bit blend happy and blended quite far up, I'm just going to take that first brush I used and the white shade again and just use this up against the brow bone just to make sure that it's nice and like... Sorry about that. It's not too blended. Can I speak? Just to make sure that it's not blended too far up towards my brow. And because I've also gotten a bit messy on the edges, I'm just taking the foundation brush I used and literally just swiping up and cleaning up the edge. I think I just want to add a little bit of black to that outer corner, just a tiny little bit. So I'm just going to take the matte black from the palette and just pick up a tiny little bit on my 217. Make sure I really tap off the excess. And then just add a tiny little bit in the outer corner. And then I'm going back in to that first blending brush we used. And just blending again. With any dark colours you want to make sure you just keep on blending. Then you just want to take a black eyeliner. I'm just taking this Thin Lizzy double-ended eyeliner pencil, pencil, um, and I'm just going to tight line. And then I'm going to do a messy line along my lash line. And then just take my finger as I go and blend it and just make it look nice and smudgy and smoky because that's obviously the kind of look I'm going for today. I haven't quite decided if I want to do falsies because um, I'm doing quite a grungy look. I feel like it might look good without them. I don't know, but I'm just going to heat up my eyelash curl up with my hair dryer and give my lashes a curl. So you just want to use your fingers to make sure it's not too hot before you put it anywhere near your eye. Because I really don't think that a burnt eyelid would be much fun at all. And then for mascara, I'm going to take the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This one is the Black Pearl and it is the full fan effect version. So it's a little bit different to the original. Um, and I love both of them. I honestly think either of these are probably my favourite mascaras ever. I am going to grab a little mirror just so I can get up nice and close to my face. This foundation actually looks really beautiful close up. Okay, so I was sent this package from L'Oreal and it is their new infallible sculpting palette. So I've got light, medium and medium to dark because it's a cream to powder product. I'm not sure whether I should... I'm not sure whether I should conceal my under eyes first. I think I probably should. So, I might take a bit of my Bare Minerals Bare... I cannot talk. A bit of my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is in the shade Light. I only just recently bought this and I'm loving it so far. So, I'm just going to pop some underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush to blend this out.
also using the concealer to really like sharpen up that edge of the eyeshadow. Oh, I love this concealer so much for my dry skin at the moment. Oh my gosh. I decided to get this one because it's a serum concealer. And it's just so much more hydrating than anything else. And it's also really good coverage, so it's like the best of both worlds. So this is what the palette looks like. It's got a little info sheet in here too. Um, but the product, you actually get a fair bit of product um, and you get a mirror inside. So I'm going to take a Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. I'm just going to pick up some of the highlight shade. And... Oh, okay. This is sort of more like you need to blend as you go. Okay, I'm going to actually take it on the sculpting brush. I think it's more of a product that you pick up and start blending straight away rather than applying it and then blending it. So I'm just going to apply it all down the center of my face. And I'm going to apply it down here underneath where my contour is going to be. Hmm. Not too sure about it on my dry skin. It just looks a little bit cakey. I cannot stand having product on my lips. I'm one of those people. I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just sort of try and really press it into the skin. To stop it looking so cakey and like it's just sitting on top. And hopefully if I just use a bit of a MAC Fix Plus I can sort of take the powderiness away. It looks good everywhere else. It's just the center of my face where my skin is really dry that it just doesn't look so great. And then for the contour I'm going to use an EXO Beauty Angled Top Kabuki Brush. And just start to apply it. Oh, I quite like the contour shade. Hey, she just knocked my phone off the bed. Um, so I'm going to oh, put an itch down the side of my nose. Anyone else get that and then you literally just like scratch all your foundation away? Wait, what are you doing? Don't chew the blanket! Ah, ah. That cat, she's obsessed with you. I'm talking about you. She loves this blanket we've got on the bed and she's obsessed with chewing on it. She just chews it. To set my highlighted areas. Oh, I've got an itch there. I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. Um, this one's in the shade Dolce de Leash, I believe is how you say it. Do you see this cat? Oh my gosh. So I'm taking the highlight shade out of the palette onto a Real Techniques contour brush. And I'm just going to set all the areas where we've highlighted and concealed. And I'm not using much powder, I never really do. just to sort of make sure that it doesn't transfer. And then I'm just going to take a bit of the bronzer side from the palette just on my Nude by Nature angled brush, blush brush. I'm just picking up a little bit and tapping the excess off. And I'm just doing this to set basically that cream contour. And I am just going to take a little bit down the sides of my nose. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Okay, I really don't love the way that contour kit highlight part looks. It just looks so cakey. Oh, it looks okay from far away, but when you're up close, you can just see it's clinging to every single dry patch, and I just am not loving that. So, so far, I'm not a big fan of that. I'm going to go in with some highlighter, so I'm using the Urban Decay... Urban Decay. The Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Sin, which I just recently bought and I'm obsessed with. I absolutely love this so, so, so much. So I just picked some of that up on a Real Techniques setting brush 
and apply it to the tops of my cheeks. And I really love this brush for highlighting, it just perfectly fits all the areas where I want to glow. So I'm on the tip of my nose, down the bridge, and I like to do a little bit just above the arch of my brows. Just, I like to do it there. <laughs> I don't know why. And some on my chin. And then for blush, I'm just going to take Milani Luminoso. And I'm using this one on my Wet n Wild blush brush. These brushes are incredible. Um, if anyone's looking for cheap or like affordable brushes... The Wet n Wild range is so good. I'm loving them. So apply that to my cheeks. That's what I wanted to talk about. So I'm not sure if any of you guys know about the planning community. It's basically like I've shown my planner before and I do stickers in there and I just plan out my weeks and do like it just looks really pretty and it's like my little therapy kind of thing for myself. I sit down and do once a week. Um, so I was curious as to whether you guys would be interested in seeing the way I like plan out a week in my diary and like use my stickers and that kind of thing. Um, I totally understand if it's not something you want to see on my channel because my channel is beauty related and that kind of thing. But I thought I'd ask and it'd be good if you guys would let me know if you would ever be interested in seeing that just because I feel like. That's something I enjoy doing and I don't know whether I'd enjoy filming it but I could always just give it a go. So do leave me a comment and let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. And that way, I don't know, I just like seeing what other people have going on in their lives and like what they do and that kind of thing. So that's like the nosy part of me. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Anyway, I'm going to spritz my face with some MAC Fix Plus and this will hopefully get rid of the cakiness that I have going on because I really don't want to look cakey. So let's just give it a go. Oh, that just hit my candle. It made a funny noise. So I'm going to go back in with this colour up here that we used in the crease, one of the many colours that we used in the crease, and I'm going to blend this underneath the eye. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you should, but last night I was snapping, I was having a bath and she just fell off the bed. That crazy little kitten, um, she cannot keep away when I'm in the bath. And she sees my feet in there and she was li she literally had her whole, ar her whole arm in the bath trying to catch my feet. And then she of course fell in the bath. I was trying to catch her <laughs> and she was like trying to pull herself back up because she was wet. She kept slipping and oh my gosh it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So if you guys want some funny kitten entertainment please follow my Snapchat because I certainly... Well, no, Luna will certainly give that for you. I'm taking this colour right into the inner corner too. Because I just want this look to be super grungy. And I'm going to go in with this shade that I have on my lid, which is this shade down here. Um, and just do the same kind of thing. I just like to layer colours. And then I'm just going in with the black on a little flat definer brush. So just picking a little bit of that up. And I'm just going to press this right into the lower lash line. I'm sorry if you can hear Luna. I have no doubt that you can. For my inner corner shade, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different and take this Makeup Geek shade in the middle here. And it is called Daydreamer. Because um, it's a super like a lavender purple. It's I don't know if I just said it's a foiled eyeshadow, but it is. I'm just going to take a smud, round smudge slash crease brush, which it's not. It's like a pencil brush. And just pick up some of that shade and apply it right in the inner corner. Just to like tie the purpliness together and give it a pop of um, shimmer. I'm going to apply some Butter Mush Mascara and I am going to add some falsies just because I feel like it's is not enough without them so you definitely don't have to add them but I just love falsies and I feel like I need them. So the falsies I'm going to use are my favourite lashes of all time. They're the Vegas Nade Shining Star Lashes. 
Um, these ones are a bit gross. I've used them multiple times. I just honestly cannot be bothered to cut a new pair to size and that is extreme laziness, but I do not care right now. So I'm going to apply these off camera and I will be back. Okay, I'm back and I have my falsies on and my battery died in between that. So I've literally just been waiting for my other battery pack to charge. I have three lipstick options in front of me, all from Gerard Cosmetics that I can't decide which one to go for. I've got Underground, Mystic Moon and London Fog. And I honestly... Oh, I just don't know. These two are so similar and... I've already worn underground before, so I'm just going to go with Mystic Moon. So that finally completes this look. I now know why I don't do talk throughs because my battery dies halfway through and all I do is chat about random shit. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it wasn't boring for you. If you stuck it out till the end, congratulations. I am so proud of you. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!